Hey guys, how is everyone doing? So today I am gonna dive into a little bit of a different video. I've never done a video like this before on my channel. So as you can see here, I have a lot of different divination tools. So of course, today's video is about basically all my divination tools and which ones are my favorites I like to work with. Alrighty, so let's get started and let's roll the intro and I can't wait to share with you. Back. So before we get started, I just wanted to say and kind of update you about, oh, I have a lot of different um, video ideas. So as you know, I've kind of trans, not really transitioned, like I'm not like ever not doing art again on my channel. But since I came out of the witchy broom closet, I've been feeling more open to share with you guys my spiritual path. All right, so now as you know it's really difficult out there um i have been personally going through some financial difficulties i don't want to get too much into that um so i was like you know what um all these unboxings i love doing them um i love getting witchy boxes don't get me wrong but you know what like i have literally tons of stuff here i have all different types of herbs i have crystals i have books i have so many you know items and spiritual goodies honestly um that i wanted to share them more with you and kind of as i'm talking to you i'm actually learning more as well because every day i try to learn something new something different um something that calls out to me right and so instead of like keep on buying stuff and buying stuff and buying stuff i'm like i really really want to share more of you know what i do personally and you know i don't want this to sound corny but like my my spiritual journey um quite frankly and how i really tune into the universe and my spiritual side and you know one of the ways i do that is um, by connecting to spirit or universe or if you want to call it god you know whatever um you choose what you choose to believe in um alrighty so i have here a lot of things that i ha use for divination to connect to get messages mainly for myself um i usually don't do readings for others you know i am not a professional tower card reader uh quite frankly that's one of the items that i kind of i'm really really learning you know um and I'm more of like an intuitive person as well. So let's say, you know, in a tarot deck, a card may mean a certain thing, but I may not particularly read it like, you know, uh, like that because I may be looking at the art or stuff like that. So I'm going to go over a little bit. It's not going to be a deep, deep, deep dive into every deck and everything, but I just wanted to share with you um what are some of my favorites what do i connect with the most and basically you know there's so many different types of divination right you obviously have tarot decks um this is i'm so happy i got i believe this is from nine one of my nine of earth boxes um my son actually bought this for me uh the nightmare before christmas because i just love that movie um this is like just a beautiful tarot deck i mean honestly you need one tarot deck really you know people have probably hundreds and hundreds of decks of all different types um i'm not saying i'm never gonna buy another deck but it really has to like call out to me um yeah and a lot of these things i got in boxes um already so i didn't really like choose necessarily what deck I got, um, except for uh, Nine of Earth, you can actually, you know, 
the boxes are around the, the decks, whether it be an oracle or tarot. And when I saw this one, I had to grab it. Um, so, and you have another tarot deck over here. That's an oracle, the tarot, and then where's my other little guy? Oh yeah, and this came in, I think it was Flying Monkey Totes um, box. I mean, it's cute, but I wouldn't have bought it for myself. Um, anyway, this is a book of palmistry. This is, I'm just quickly going over all the types of divination you can do. Uh, you have palmistry. I have this cute little book here. And again, I am not an expert in any of them. So basically my two favorites, this video is all over the place, but not really. My two favorite uh, types of divination and for me like the way I connect with the best are pendulums. I never thought I would, but pendulums. Um, and I'll just go over that briefly in a minute. I got my beautiful pendulums here. And honestly, oracle cards. Um, I love watching like tower readers. I have a few of my favorites. Um, one, uh, his name is Chris Reck. Uh, R-E-C-K, and his channel is um, Minopon, uh, Minopon Tarot, I believe it's called, but yeah, um, and I really listen to him all the time, and you would think I would freaking know the name of his channel. I'm actually taking uh, a master class uh, with him right now, a free master class, but it more has to do with like different stuff like YouTube or you know that kind of stuff, like growing your audience and stuff like that um, but I would like to I think he also has a course in teaching people tarot as well and you have tea magic and I believe this came in a box this beautiful book so I actually have a um, a teacup I believe it came in the same box um, you know you could read tea leaves Again, I don't know much about it, and I'm reading, like all these books I'm reading, like I'm in the process of reading, because I just kind of like jumping around and learning different things. So you have tea magic, you have palmistry, you could actually read um, the flames. Oh, that was one thing I did forget. I don't have it anymore, but scrying, uh, which is kind of, looking deeply into usually it could be a mirror you could scry in water but usually like it's dark like let's say the cup or bowl is dark and you just have the water and you kind of attune yourself to the water and almost like in a meditative state you could see things in the water you get messages that way um, of course i have a bag of runes here Let's see if I can get some of these out. So you have runes. And again, I am learning as well. So I don't, I have, I actually enjoyed, um, I did do a couple of readings for myself with the runes, but um, again, I don't know each and every, you know, what each one means or how to pronounce, um, all the different rooms but i really enjoy um learning so maybe one day a video i do is i could do a reading i'll be learning and sharing my information with you guys as well so these are beautiful and where is ah i actually have some rune dice I can open her up. So these, I, are these tiger's eye? Yeah. So instead of like casting um, all your runes, you it's more of dice, and so it's the same symbols uh, as those here, but you would like cast them and get messages that way. This is really beautiful. I love these. This is very, very nice. But I have to say, I did like doing readings with the runes. Um, I believe, I felt like very positive uh, from the messages I got. Um, 
yeah, I just, I really enjoy doing that. So I am just going to talk a little bit more about a couple of things. And also I wanted to share with you guys some of the ideas that I had to make some different types of videos that I haven't made on this channel before. Alrighty, so I'm going to be right back and I'm going to kind of clear. So I am back. So, now, you know, when you guys or when anyone does divination, um, some people feel like, you know, you definitely have to, um, it's probably recommended, it's a good idea to, to you know, do some protections. Um, some people like to cast like a circle. So, you know, I actually, whoops, there's some ways you could cast a circle. Um, you can use your wand. So basically, um, it's, you can do energetic circles. It doesn't actually have to be like a physical circle. Um, like here's some sacred salts, right? So you can actually sit down on a floor or in nature. And you could spread, but I wouldn't put salt in the ground necessarily because you may like hurt the earth. But you know what I mean. You can do it inside, outside, but just be careful like what you put in the earth. Uh, you don't want to hurt Mama Earth, Gaia, okay? You don't want to do that. Um, but yeah, you can actually do like a physical circle. Um, you could use candles like in each, uh, let's see, like north, south, east, west. You know, you have, here's my little earth. You can use crystals to kind of mark your circle. And then the earth, air. Where's my little fire? Can't see it. Fire and water. So you can cast a circle. Um, it's more like a sphere. You know, you don't want to protect yourself energetically. You don't want anything to come in that you don't want to come in. Uh, you know, spiritually speaking, unless you want certain things to come in. But again, it's each, everyone's path is different, right? Um, but I have to say there is a channel and her name is Hearthwitch. Um, that's the name of the channel. She's amazing and she taught me a lot about energy work, you know, casting circles, and doing any type of spell work. Um, basically, you don't need any of this stuff. It's you and your energy, quite frankly. And there are ways that you build up energy. Uh, there's all different types of ways, and she's wonderful. I wanna link her channel uh, here because she has taught me so, so much. I think she's been a, a practitioner, I don't know, maybe between 15 and 20 years, and she's not old to say the least she's young um maybe in her 30s i'm not sure but she's wonderful she's from england uh she's amazing and she's one of the channels i really 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 learned from on youtube um but yeah there are different ways you can protect yourself you can use crystals okay black a lot of times is used for protection but not always depending again on your path and your belief system okay but you have crystals and i can never pronounce this right but i'm gonna maybe put the word up here um but this is beautiful uh again you could cast a circle by using your wand and you're casting an energetic circle so it's all all of it is you know in your mind you're manifesting the circle you're building energy up um, to connect with spirit you use a circle to protect yourself and then you start connecting with spirit through the pendulums or the cards or the tea leaves all of that um, one way you can cleanse your space all right before you even cast your circle um, you don't have to burn anything so let's say you're in this an area or if you're in your home or let's say you live with other people and you can't burn sage or you know palo santo or any herbs you can use sound 
to cleanse your space, which is freaking awesome. I love that bell. Um, you can use incense if you're allowed or you know maybe some people are allergic to smoke and stuff like that um you can burn herbs white willow bark and this is actually my tree i associate myself with so yeah there's so many different ways um that you can use divination now and you know, basically you would ask your cards and you could ask it anything, but like, you know, you know, spirit, what do I need to know uh, right now? Um, you know, what's going on in my life? You know, what's gonna happen in the next month or so? There's so many different questions. Um, obviously it's very, very personal, but my two favorites are the pendulum and I, basically connect with each pendulum in similar ways by allow the pendulum to tell me what uh each means so basically i would ask the pendulum like you know um i would introduce i know it may sound silly maybe to some but i would kind of introduce myself thank the crystal thank the pendulum for assisting me um, here's just uh, a couple of them. Let's see. And it's in a selenite bowl to keep them cleansed. Here's another one with no chain. And this, this, yeah. This is a pendulum necklace. And I think I have one more. Yeah. Here we go. And I have this one. So I would kind of hold the pendulum. Let's, let me use this guy here. Actually, I want to use that one. All right. So I would kind of hold the pendulum like this, keep it still. And I would just kind of connect with it for a while, hold the stone in my hands, um, just to connect with the energy of the crystal, right? Uh, that's how, I, this is how I do it. It's how I feel comfortable doing it. I'm sure there are many, 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 many different ways you could do this. And then I ask the pendulum, you know, show me a yes. And, you know, it can go, I'm moving it right now, but it can go this way. So basically, you know, I would ask it, show me a no, show me a maybe, um, whatever, whatever questions you have, right? So when you ask it a question like, um, you know, I, quite frankly, I'm looking for work right now. So you, I may ask a question like, uh, you know, will I find work in the next month? Or will I find work that I truly love to do? You know, that kind of stuff. And it would give you an answer. And I really feel connected to it to the point where <laughs> my son actually got nervous because it was actually answering uh, his questions. So it was like he was asking me questions to ask the pendulum and they were pretty right on point um, And he actually got nervous. So, you know, I stopped doing it in front of him and Let's see. So my second favorite is Oracle cards now usually like again, I don't have tons of different decks but I usually reach out to the ones that I really just connect with and enjoy. So this is Earth Magic Oracle. I'm not going through each card, obviously, but that would take forever. But basically, these are the cards and what they look like. Creation, Dream Time, and of course it comes with the book and those are the back so this is my favorite um oracle card uh that's one deck and my other favorite which is new i, I believe this is from a nine of earth uh box i'm gonna open her up real quick because this video is getting kind of long but i haven't spoken to you guys in a minute and if i can open this freaking box that would be awesome all right Sorry guys, I have a little bit of an itchy nose. All right, so this is the book that it comes with. I don't know if it's color or not. Anyway, so while I'm 
talking here. No, it's just, all right, black and white. And this is some of what the cards look like. Again, I'm not going through, but these are very, very pretty. So obviously um, each card is a different herb or a root, rue, I love rue. I actually get mine in uh, Botanica, fresh. Um, these are really, really beautiful. Just gorgeous. So I love this deck. Actually, I may like this deck more than the Earth Spirit one. Um, there's so many different, um, there must be thousands of different decks out there. Again, I don't feel it necessary to just like have this crazy collection. Um, some people just collect them and you know, that's what they love to do. And I am not, uh, I do that with books, so I cannot judge. So yeah, those, um, and you know what, before, one more thing I wanna show you because this deck is just, I mean, gorgeous. So this is my favorite tarot. Uh, the book is insane. Like, it's a huge, huge, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous book. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna show you a couple of cards from this deck, and then I'm gonna end off with just getting into a couple ideas that I had for the channel. So here we go. So that is the cover card, which kind of came up pretty fast. The Hierophant, Hierophant, and that's my card. I am a Taurus, Taurian. Oh, the lovers. So these are just magnificent. Seven of Cups. These are just beautiful, right? Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. Oy, it's a ten of swords. Yeah. Oh. Uh, aw, cute. Ace of Pentacles. Just we'll end off with that card. So beautiful. Oh. All right. So I'm gonna be right back, and I'm just gonna talk very briefly because this has this video is pretty long. All right. So I'm gonna be right back. And I'm just going to talk a little bit about what I'm really excited to do on this channel. Want to wrap it up. So, you know, like I said, I have so many things I want to share. Um, I really want to like learn about things and just share with you what I have learned. Um, we can learn together. I think it's just a really wonderful way that I want to connect with you guys. And thanks to everyone that recently subscribed to my channel. Um, I really love the transition uh, that I took on my channel. I think I just feel good <laughs> on it and I really love you guys and I really am so happy you're here. Um, but yeah, I have so many different items, so many things I've learned in the last couple of years. And so some of the ideas, let me just get to the point. So some of the ideas I had were obviously, you know, maybe getting deeper into maybe a deck or by doing maybe a review of a deck, what I feel about it. Uh, it could be about runes where um, just maybe going through what, what each one means or like, you know, general uh, videos about that. Um, I... There's one thing I do collect, and I collect, I know it's weird, but maybe not. I collect herbs, roots, powders. I have a beautiful apothecary that I am building, and I am learning uh, deeply about every herb and what they do. Um, by no means am I an expert. I am just learning about a lot of different things, not just like the magical properties, obviously, but basically medicinal. Um, a, I have an emotional attachment or, or feelings about herbs. Um, a lot of it could be very intuitive with me. Um, like, you know, each herb or bark or root does not just mean divination. They have many different uses. Again, medicinal, um, spiritual, obviously magical properties. 
And so, I was thinking about doing some series of videos, like herbs, so I could do, let's say, a group of, let's say, herbs for love. And I can, you know, show you all the herbs I have that uh, deal with love. So, you know, just share with you some things like that, right? Um, yeah, go into maybe a little spell work, what types of spell work I, I do. Um, what else? You know, there's, there's so many different ideas I have. I am still doing art, by the way. Um, that will never, never stop. Um, and I, you know, I want to do some videos on maybe doing some witchy projects. I have done a couple of pieces uh, recently. Uh, like I transformed this kind of ugly sign into a really beautiful piece of art. So the other, those are all my, well, those are just the tip of the iceberg of all the ideas I've had recently. I just feel much more open to share my path with you guys. And you know, when I get all these witchy boxes, I just want you to know that it's not just like, oh, you know, for aesthetic reasons, even though I love the aesthetic of it. I'm an artist. I connect with that. That is actually part of my magic. Um, I, it really just is. It's how I connect. I love beautiful things. I love setting it up, uh, things up. I, you know, the atmosphere. Um, I think it's just beautiful. I think it's earthy. It makes, it feels like home. And I love bringing nature into, you know, remember I live in a New York City apartment and, you know, sometimes it's hard to connect with nature here um, because it's such, it's a city, obviously a major city. Um, and it can be difficult to find some peace and serenity, so I bring it into my home. Um, yeah, so there's so many different things I want to share with you guys. And I'm really happy to be talking with you. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, would you be interested? You know, I'm gonna do a little bit of everything, but like, what do you wanna see next? Like maybe some of the art projects I was doing. Maybe I'll start one with you guys. Um, I could do like book, like book reviews. I could show you my books to start off with. One of my favorite ones. You know, I would definitely want to do the herb series, like, you know, herbs, whoop, some fell, uh, flowers and roots and barks and what they're used for, what I use them for, all that kind of stuff. Maybe some simple candle magic. So yeah, just tell me in the comments below, what would you like to see next? Um, I did film a video. Um, and it is a box uh, that I just tried for the first time. Um, I think it's called Afro Zodiac. So like as in Aphrodite, uh, Zodiac. So I am working on editing that video and that should be coming out soon. So guys, that is it. I have been rambling for quite some time, but I haven't been able to speak and sit down with you guys for a while because we just got a new dog and she's just all over the place. Um, I have her in the other room so she could, you know, not bark so much. Um, yeah, there's been a lot going on. I haven't had the moment to just sit and chill with you guys and just share. So that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I will see you in the next video. Bye.